dramatic new information in a crash involving a community activist that left a local teenager dead. Teens crying, screaming, running from the scene. New court documents released today paint a wild picture of what happened after Tamika Pledger allegedly struck a group of teenagers with her car. And this exclusive video we've obtained shows the moments leading up to it all. KMBC 9's Eli Rosenberg is live in KCK with a video you won't see anywhere else. Eli? Well, guys, there's not a lot of reminders out here of that fatal accident on January 30th. In fact, this police tape here, really the only reminder of that fatal accident. But that video you guys just mentioned and some newly released court documents released today are answering some lingering questions. Now, let's start with the video. <laughs> Now, the person who gave us this video says this is the fight minutes before that fatal wreck. According to Tamika Pledger's arrest affidavit released earlier today, a group of girls in a black Chevy were waiting at a bus stop here near 13th and Troop for several other teens so they could fight. The affidavit states one of the teens called Pledger and that Pledger was, quote, mad, annoyed, and advised she was coming. The affidavit goes on to say after the wreck, Pledger was quoted as saying, quote, I am sorry, I am so sorry, everyone, that I'm just protecting my family, too. Adding, my car wouldn't stop. I couldn't stop. There must have been something wrong with my brakes. Now, back here live, the affidavit states an accident reconstruction team came out here and determined Pledger was driving at least 54 miles an hour. The speed limit here is said to be 20 miles an hour. We're live in KCK, Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News. Is charged with involuntary manslaughter and three counts of reckless aggravated battery.